Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Craftmas video number two. We are going to be making a gingerbread swag using the five below four foot green Christmas tree. I wanted to get the one from Dollar Tree, but when I got this idea, they were all sold out. I have these wooden snowflakes. Usually you'll find these on a garland in the Christmas craft section. I have these left over from last year. I will be spray painting, spray painting them gingy brown and adding a puff paint detail. Got some ribbon and I will show you how I make a bow. It might not be how you see other people make it, but I, you got to fake it till you make it. I have these candy canes, some candies. I don't think I'll be using the deco mesh, but I found it in my stash from last year. I got these metal signs from the Walmart dollar spot. Um, some lollipops, some gingy ornaments um, that I also got from Walmart. And I have a bag of leftover red and white ornaments from last year. First things first, we're going to be spray painting the wood ornaments. We need them to dry. And uh, by adding the puffy paint detail, they will need extra drying time. Of course, here it is. Warm caramel is the color. The brand is Rust-Oleum. You already know that's my favorite gingy paint. Okay, guys. I will be using um, green zip ties. I ordered these from Amazon uh, to attach some of the embellishments. Here is the tree out of the bag. I have to tell you, I've bought this tree before from Five Below and the quality kind of went downhill. I wanted the Dollar Tree one, however, it was sold out. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be fluffing out the swag. We're only gonna be fluffing one side of the tree. So you're gonna be pulling all the branches from the back pulling them out to the side and also the ones on top you'll be going to be fluffing up if that makes sense so we're pulling out all of the branches the bottom of the tree the back of the swag is going to remain flat so you want to pull all those branches so it's nice and full to the sides right and left and then the ones that lay on top you're going to fluff up and so we're just going to continue to do that. It's tedious, um, but we have to do it. There's no other way to do it. Now, if you want to add other greenery, other picks to make it fuller, that's totally up to you. But I'm not going to be doing that. With you fluffing everything to the side and up, it, it will be full, in my opinion. You don't need to add any fillers. And plus, we'll, we have a lot of embellishments that we're going to be adding. Okay, and this is how it looks, all right? I attached a zip tie and made like a, a hook so I can hang it. I'm gonna be trying something different. Normally you guys see me, um, and I'm just showing you a quick picture of the back of it. The back is flat. This is the back of it, and this is the front of it. Normally you guys see me uh, decorate a wreath or a swag with it laying flat, but this time I'm gonna try it hanging up. Now this gingerbread metal sign I got from Walmart, it has these tiny uh, hanging holes. I'm gonna try these ornament hooks that I got from Dollar General, but these are very thin and it's not really doing a good job. So that's just not going to work. I'm gonna um, switch over to the other hooks that I got um, from, I forgot where, but Big Lots, okay? and use that to hang the sign. Really, what I should have is some floral wire, which I have somewhere in my craft stash, but I just, for time reasons, I need to get this video done. I also got this metal gingerbread um, hanging decor, and I am using a string that I took from another ornament, and I um, put a zip tie through it, because these are heavier pieces and I just want to make sure that they stay. We get a lot of wind here and I kind of want the gingy to be off center. And now that I got my two largest pieces there, I can start adding other embellishments and take the design from there. I don't have a design in mind, but I like the way the sign is hanging. I wanted that to be front and center and I wanted the gingy to be slightly off center. And now I could add all of the embellishments that I shared with you um, at the beginning of this video. 
And right now I started off using zip ties, but I had to pay for these zip ties and that's not cost effective. So eventually you will see me switch over to um, pipe cleaners. Um, but I need to make sure because this is going outside, I want to make sure it stays put. Now, taking a break because I have to go get the pipe cleaners, I'm going to be adding the puffy paint gingerbread details to the snowflakes that we painted earlier because this is going to require several hours drying time. So I want to make sure that I get this done so that these will be dry so when I'm ready to finish decorating the swag, I can add them. I really love how cute these gingerbread uh, snowflakes come out. I did see these and I made some last year for my last year's wreath. I seen them on another YouTube DIY video. I would have never thought to paint snowflakes gingy brown and add the icing detail. I think they look so cute when completed. Save your glitter. It will last you forever. Um, so that's what you see me doing. I'm saving that glitter. I didn't have a design in mind. I'm just winging it, guys, and having fun while doing it. This is your creation, and just do it. Do what you want to do. Okay, now all four are complete and we're just going to let them dry. I did find this craft cord from Dollar Tree. You could also use that to hang your ornaments, but I got the pipe cleaners. In my craft stash, I have some um, candy cane stripe pipe cleaners, but I took that to storage, not thinking I would need them. So I'm going to try to take all of the green ones. I'm not going to try. I'm going to take all of the green ones from these and I will eventually have to use some red. I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to use these to hang the rest of the embellishments on the swag. I will show you. I'm cutting the pipe cleaners in half and I'm just showing you a couple. I'm stringing them through the ornaments. I'll do the rest off camera. And then we're ready to start decorating. To fill in a large gap, I'm going to use this mini cutting board sign that I had on hand. I couldn't hang it properly the way I wanted to with the swag hanging on the door. So I had to lay it flat just so I can get it placed where I want it to go. And the scissors broke. Gotta love Dollar Tree. They don't last forever. Now I'm adding the gingerbread snowflakes. I almost forgot about them. I think it just takes it to the next level where I wanted to go the design and I love I just love them I have seen people do a gingerbread snowflake garland maybe you know one day uh, that will be on my bucket list so after I t attach them all we'll just do some last minute adjustments just give it a quick once over 
I am happy with the design. I don't think it needs anything else. I will be bending up the bottom of the tree, which would have been the top. And we're ready to make a bow. I am not the one to show you how to make bows, guys. I have tried the, the I have watched so many bow tutorials, I just can't get it. So I do a cheating method, okay? I just make loops. I don't measure. Um, again, I just kind of guesstimate with my eyes and I'm using this ribbon that I got. Um, I think the candy cane one came from family dollar. The gingerbread one came from dollar general, and I'm going to make one large loop, then one a little bit smaller than the large loop, stack them. And I kind of wish this dollar general, uh, ribbon was wider, but it's not, but it's gingy and it's festive. I'm trying something that I've never tried before. I'm telling you, every time I do this, I do something different, but please watch bow tutorials, okay? Because this is going to be a hot mess. And uh, for time reasons, I want to get this video up. I am going to attach all of the loops with a zip tie and fluff it up to the best of my ability. Fluff it up to the best of my ability. I probably will end up uh, redoing the bow, guys, but I want to get this video up. Um, I'm going to make the tail, okay? I added another loop. I decided to add another loop just to make the bow look a little bit symmetrical. Um, again, it probably would be better if I measured. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, um, I'm a work in progress. Now we're going to be making the tails. Um, I'm going to attempt to duck tail them if that's what they call it again. I'm learning just along with you guys. And we're going to put it on the swag. And again, this may get redone. I'm just going to fill in the green areas above the gingerbread bakery sign just so, you know, just to fill it in underneath the ribbon. Um, I didn't know how the bow was going to lay. And then after that, we are done. Optional, you can add lights. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not going to be adding lights because I work night shift. I am not going to be here to turn them on and off and I don't want to be bothered. Um, but you can add lights to yours. Eventually I might. Okay. I might add lights. I do have some of those string lights from Amazon on hand, but I'm just doing some last minute adjustments and voila, here is my gingerbread swag. That's going to be going on my back door. That's where if you rock with me and watch my outdoor hauls, um, that's the door it will be going on. And overall, I love it. The only thing, like I said, I may invest in better ribbon. Um, if I have a chance, go to Hobby Lobby and see and uh, redo this bow. If I redo the bow, I will share it. Um, but here she is. And I absolutely love her. Thank you. Merry Craftmas. I hope you enjoyed Craftmas video number two. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you for my returning subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm going to start my outdoor decorations tomorrow. I'm going to put out my Christmas mat. I'm going to hang the swag, add my gingerbread pillows to the bench, and hopefully add my inflatables. I definitely will share how that comes out. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next Craftmas video. Bye-bye.